Good, Good morning, morning Skyhawks. Sky what a lovely, windy Wh morning. Windy? Yeah, maybe. Okay. okay. Today is Friday, November 18th, 2022. I'm Matthew. And I'm Kimberly. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Skyhawk Sky News. News. Seniors, December 9th is a deadline to purchase a senior dedication page. Please see the bookkeeper for more details. Act now, the book prices are still available through December 10th. Prom prices are available until December 14th, and as a reminder, the final ASB package due date is coming up. Skyhawks, BSU will be fundraising tickets for Black Panther Wakanda Forever on Sunday, November 20th, 2022 at 11.30am. BSU members and guests will have the option of buying two ticket packages, one for $15, a single ticket, and $20 for a ticket and a snack pack. You will need to show a signed permission slip slash waiver form before purchasing tickets. Permission slips can be picked up with the bookkeeper or in D108. Tickets are limited and seating will be based on first come, first serve basis. Hope you can join us. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing out loud for all here. Come out and hear our award-winning Summit Choir program present their annual winter concert on December 2nd at 6.30 p.m. in the NPR. It is going to be a great night of music and it will definitely get you in the holiday spirit. Tickets are $5, but if you show your student ID, you get in for free. Hope to see you there, Skyhawks. Skyhawk Productions is partnering with Fontana Santas by hosting a Swinging for Presents toy drive at Summit on December 7th. Programs on campus will collaborate and have begun collecting toy donations. The charity games are set to begin at 2 p.m. on the Varsity softball field. Hey, Kim, I feel like you could be creative if you really wanted to. I kind of thought I was creative already. You, like, outline stuff and you copy it from the internet? Mm I add my own touch to it, so I can technically call it mine. That's not being artistic. Let's we'll see who beat you at being artistic this week. Hi, I'm Bella Salazar. I'm a senior here at Summit, and I'm this week's Artistic Skyhawk of the Week. I'm in Multimedia Design and Communications, and I've been in this class. This is my second year. What I enjoy most about being in multimedia is mainly just being creative and working with my friends along with competing in Skills USA, where we go and compete at the Ontario Convention Center uh, with different schools in California. Advice I could give to someone that wants to join multimedia is to try and compete in Skills USA if you get the chance to. If not, the class is just fun um, and it's a really great learning experience. Um, shout outs to all my friends, Natalie, Ashley, Jalissa Pri, Ari, Mr. Husa, Miss K, Miss McClellan, Jackie Kim, and Ava. Yeah. Bye guys. Alright Matthew, we're going to test you for Scar of the Week, alright? Uh, okay. Okay, what is the smallest planet in the solar system? I'll put uh, no, hold on. Oh. <laughs> and each of the moon's molecular mass cubed alongside the density of the atmosphere's gravitational pull. And I want you to show your work below. What did you just say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's leave the questions to David and Ruben, okay? Okay. Well, let's pass it on to getting schooled. Ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, I am Ruben Gabriel Reyes, this is... David Quintana. And this week on Getting Schooled, we have another wonderful set of five guests. Jalissa, Tristan, Isabel, Alyssa, and our special guest, president of the Robotics Club, Izana Tesfai. So without any further ado, let's do this. What is the smallest planet in our solar system? Venus? I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to say Pluto, Pluto, but yeah, but yeah, I'm going to say Pluto. That's Pluto. Fine. Yeah. Even if it's not a planet. Yeah. Smallest planet. Smallest, smallest. What is it? Okay. The smallest one. Like, minuscule, yeah. little, tiny, if you Tiniest. will. What is it? What is it? Are we counting Pluto? I don't know. Are we? Or is Pluto a planet? Is Pluto a planet? What was our question? All right, all right, all right. Okay. Mercury. 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 Interesting answer. Mercury. Mercury. Urine. <laughs> what is the capital of Singapore? Oh. Mm -mm. Mm. <gasps> Bangkok. Yeah. <laughs> Great answer. Thanks. Great answer. 
It's on the tip of your tongue, ain't it? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's can, right there. Can, can I get a hint? Can I get a hint? Okay. I'll repeat the question. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> this it. once. Mm -hmm. What is the capital of Singapore? Bangladesh. That's the best hint I've given all year. <laughs> Timbuktu. Timbuktu. What he said. <laughs> Man, you guys are geniuses. <laughs> Who was the first woman to win a Nobel Peace Prize? Amelia Earhart. <laughs> Earhart. Not the first time we've heard that today. Interesting. Not really? She's yeah. pretty popular. You know what I mean? Mm. Tell me about it. Same answer as him. <laughs> You're sticking with Amelia Earhart. Yes. You're not going to think for yourself, not even for women? Um, 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 me, myself, and I, because I'm awesome. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. Final answer. What was it? Harriet Tubman? Harriet Tubman? I don't, even, I don't even think the Nobel Peace Prize was a thing when Harriet Tubman was a thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't think it was. You don't think so? You're going with Rosa Parks. You're going with Parks. Thank you guys so much for continuing to support us in our silly little show on the Skyhawk News. We want nothing more than good things for you all this Thanksgiving break. And remember, if you guys want to be on Getting Schooled in the Future, continue to text us on Instagram. They're in the outro. See you later. And now, now let's pass, pass it to Ava with sports. Hey Skyhawks, I'm Ava Turner and I'm here to help you. <laughs> Dig into this week's sports section. Our girls tennis team unfortunately lost in their second round of CIF. They end their season proud of themselves for their accomplishments. Our cross country boys are out of the run for CIF championships as they didn't place in their race at Mount Sac. Our boys water polo team lost against Paramount with a close score of 6-5 in their second round of CIF. They had a great season and are proud they went as far as they did in the playoffs. With the end of our fall sports, our winter sports seasons are approaching fast. Coaches Rome, Duncan, Delgado, Jennings, and Griffith are preparing their athletes for their upcoming seasons. Our girls basketball team is hopeful they will have as great of a season as they did last year and go even farther in CIF to win the championship. They are off to a great start as they recently played against Diamond Ranch and demolished them with an outstanding score of 76-16. to Our basketball boys are training hard to start their season off right. Unfortunately, they lost their game on Monday against Ukaipo with a score of 62-56. to However, it was a close game that slipped right out of their hands. The next day, they got a chance at redemption and destroyed La Sierra with a score of 72-36. to Keep up the great work, boys. Our boys soccer team is preparing for their upcoming season. They will play their first few games in a few weeks and are training hard to ensure a great start to their season. Our girls water polo team is training hard in the water. They played on Tuesday against Canyon Springs and won with a score of 20-4. They were right back in the water soon after to prepare for their next game today. Our girls soccer team is preparing for their approaching games in a couple weeks. Although they still have a while to go in those games, they are practicing hard to bring home some wins. We now have a surprise feature from a sport that doesn't get recognized much in the news. Our cheer team has been working hard all year cheering on our fall sports and practicing to ensure they place high in their future competitions. Let's take a look at these talented athletes in a sports preview. First time we came in together. <laughs> My name is Israel, um, I'm a junior and I'm on varsity cheer. Some advice that I would want to give to people who want to join cheer is just to come up to my coach and just say like, um, yeah, I want to try this sport out and he'll, from there on out, he'll help you out and you'll get to know the sport a little bit. My goals for this year is to qualify for Florida and probably even make it to finals and to probably be, even to win nationals this year for USA. Hi, my name is Bonifacio Lopez, I'm in varsity, I'm a senior and I'm a, one of the varsity cheer captains. Something that inspired me to join cheer was probably weightlifting. I was always interested in weightlifting, so just seeing how the guys tossed up girls uh, going into my freshman year was something different. So all of us in cheer, we're all like family. We fight here and there, but like at, at the end of the day, we all pull through.
Our football boys sadly lost their game on the 4th against Golden Valley with a score of 28-14. to It was a terribly emotional game with even fans in the stands feeling the loss. They played an amazing game with many great plays, however fell short in the last quarter. The boys had a physical season full of ups and downs. Nonetheless, it was amazing and memorable. Now let's snap into this week's Athlete of the Week. Tristan Murad, uh, I'm a senior, I'm a four year varsity player, I'm an offense lineman, and I'm this week's Athlete of the Week. Uh, it's pretty good. I watched all my friends get Athlete of the Week when I was younger, and it's nice to finally be chosen. I started playing football when I was like seven years old. My dad always watched football. My grandparents always watched football. It's always just been part of my household. So I started playing when I was young and I kept playing till now. The team is like a brotherhood. Everybody loves each other. Everybody has each other's back. Um, it's an amazing team. Everybody plays their part. Everybody's happy with how, they, how the team's doing. As an individual, I've uh, accomplished a lot of my goals and um, happy with how I've done. I'm excited for postseason to see the awards I get from CIF and the league. Uh, Shouts to my mom, uh, my brother, my dad, and the whole team overall. And it's been a fun season. An honorable mention goes to our JV football team led by quarterback Jada Mejia who plays first in league. Their last game against Harupa Hills was very memorable with a forced fumble by Malele Viola, a pick six by Caden Turner, and many more amazing plays. Also, congratulations to Coach Fields as it was his first year as head coach as well as his first league championship. What a great season, boys. We only have one game today, Skyhawks. Our girls water polo team will be hosting a team traveling all the way from Long Beach. Good luck, ladies. Well, that's all I have for this week, Skyhawks. I'm Ava Turner, and now that you're all set with sports, let's pass it over to the news. See you guys in the court. Well, well that's, that's all we have, have for you this week, week Skyhawks. Skyhawks. I'm Matthew. And I'm Kimberly. And, and this, this has been Skyhawk, Skyhawk news. news. See, See you, you next time. time. <laughs> as we soar through the ages, as we take to the skies, we spread our wings in blue and silver as we fly with sky hung bright, loyal in our hearts, body, spirit, and mind. We come, we run, we lead the way forever, summit Okay guys, listen, I don't think we're hitting the masses. We just gotta know what a lot of people are gonna love. Okay, so what do people love? Aaron? Peppa? Go, time out. Okay. Uh, Tegan? Lawyer. For the love of Fortnite, Matthew, what do people love? Oh, the queen. That's a good one, but too late. Oh, oh yeah, literally. Boop, boop. We did already. <gasps> Extra verse. Gabe Constante already did that. Remember how we stole his Batman of Summit idea? Oh, uh, oh yeah. Um. Can we just think of something original? <gasps> I have an idea. What if we revive the scrapped extras? I just came. Spider-Man, Spider-Man! Man, where's the city building at, dude?
Guys, my freshman senses are tingly. That's why we scrapped that. What else did you scrap? <laughs> hey, can you do this quick interview for me? Yeah, sure. What do you think is wrong with this world? Well, I... <clears throat> Please, let's just admit that you're failing. I'm not in danger, Skylar. I am the danger. Tegan, it's time to beat the meat, okay? But I'm, I'm Tegan the vegan. Follow orders like a good boy, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Why do you torment me so? Don't say it. Children, my dozen children. Don't bring up the ch- Stop, I'm a single father. Hardy. <laughs> Thomas, Valerie, Lindsay, Ken, Robert, Virtual. Maybe reusing scrapped extras isn't a good idea. Yeah, I'm starting to remember why we scrapped these. I guess no extra this week. Sorry, Artie.